up squad it's your boy back with another video for you guys reincarnation coliseum chapter 14 is officially out and i'm going to try something new with you all by reading along with you guys with it and discussing it as we go uh big shout out to dark assassin for letting me know on discord that it has been uploaded and everything else at the time of this video so i hope we all enjoy this together before i get started i did have a question you see that in this picture right here before I go into the next one, that Mikigami has other slaves. So this tells me that we're going to get way more slaves than the ones we have as far as the Heavenly Kings go. So let's jump into it and continue going. All right, all right, so first things first, the powerful management. Three weeks ago after the battle against Mary. Okay, three weeks ago after the battle against Mary. That's kind of interesting. Uh, Dulu trying to confirm this, but <clears throat> who's my owner? Okay, so he's trying to figure out who his owner is, and we never really knew who his owner was. Honestly, at first, I thought it was maybe Zay-sama, but that didn't make any sense for me. So he's questioning Zulu about it, and, you know, Zulu's like, free slaves, like you are being possessed all by the same person. Coliseum of the floor hallway, so he's making his way to the said person. Zay is one of the Coliseum's major investors, so Zay-sama really wasn't anybody. She is more like just a higher-up, that had like her own bodyguards, which would be the four heavenly kings. So that, it kind of makes sense. She has influence, but in the end, she's not the management. Makes sense. So the head of management, which is where he's going now, is Big Mama, the weakest gladiator, Koji Mikigami. And this is where we get good old Desmos Salamandes. Desmos Salamandes, this is huge mommy right here. Look at how huge she is compared to him. Mikigami looks like an ant. My, oh, she's from the giant race. Good look, giant, giantess, the giant race, Desmos Salamendis. My God, she's huge. Seems uh, seems nice so far from what I'm saying. My, oh my goodness. All right, so they're gonna have a seat. Yada yada. What's in that tea though? Like, it stops sizzling and whatnot down there. I, I don't think anything is wrong with it, but you know. I was wondering what the management, which has been cheating to their heart's content, was planning to do. I never thought I'd be called directly to the top by the owner. Okay, so he was called directly by the owner. I thought he went on his own accord to figure out who was at the top. What kind of reason? Still, the battle that took down Zade's four heavenly kings was magnificent, especially against Fine. Like when suddenly the smoke screen cleared and your pinky finger was cut off. Uh, so this tells me that Desmos was paying attention closely to that fight. Inside that smoke, what happened? All right, so perfectly reasonable question. Doesn't see anything wrong with that. So it's gonna be like that. She's feigning ignorance because she kind of knows what happened, but you know. But no wonder, I wonder why that smoke screen was there. On the surface, the management is in a position where they can say they didn't know. Ah, I see, she's just testing me. Depending on how I respond, I could be used up as a slave, huh? So now he's kind of like weighing like his options in this. She wants to decide if she should bring me to the management side. I'm showing enough strength to overcome any cheating. Since I've already become popular as a fighter, I'm already more useful by bringing me in as an ally, rather than by crushing me. Yeah, he, so he's pretty much weighing his options in this part right here. And, you know, just talking about even negotiating to stop being a gladiator, depending on my achievements should be, but that's not the point. So now he's getting irritated, don't get annoyed. To have the nerve to interrupt someone's game and then laugh at them, the calm part of my head is screaming at me to chill out. So his inner self is like going nuts because we know how he's been treated so far. I'm aware that going against her here won't do me any good, but something wrong. Oh, what do you mean by the Desmos? I don't give a damn, bitch. Oh my God, wildin'. I thought you were someone sharp with it, but turns out you're just an idiot. Or don't you know who the owner of that collar is? You right, <laughs> so what? Then bow your head, go down on your knees right there, right now. Oh, shit's getting real, son. Kneel down and lick my crotch. Oh, my God. Beg for mercy as a pathetic slave. Yo, she switched up on him and let him know that, yo, you an ant compared to me. Like, lick your crotch, big mama. Boy, if you don't. Big mama, big mama, give me all that. You, you know what? That would be an insane, this would be insane as far as someone sitting on your face because she's huge. Like, you want me to kneel down and lick your crotch? My God, this bitch is nuts. This most is kind of scary, to be honest with you. Become my sex slave and I'll let you live. Damn, now she's getting what? Oppose me and I'll kill you. 
Her desire to kill me is piercing through my whole body. I won't do it. All right, good on Mikigami. He's standing his ground somewhat. Oh, shit. Like, it's different when I see this on, like, Twitter, and now it's like, oh, my God. Do it. The threat. Yo, she got a big-ass, like, buster sword. This bitch from Final Fantasy? What? <laughs> I'm a gladiator slave. Let him know. I need to get ready for the next fight. This guy, he understands it, huh? That I won't kill him. And also that if he stops being a gladiator, he will be killed immediately. So, Mikuyami does play by the rules, and he takes advantage of it. So, we do see that. It's pretty cool. So when I want to quit being a gladiator, I need my owner's permission, huh? Well, asking for permission will be denied in all likelihood. That makes sense, because, you know, Desmos owns Mikigami. There's nothing that he can do about it. Like, that's pretty much the whole thing. And trying to negotiate out of it when he's this popular, is just not going to work. But Mikigami sees it as convenient, because I also don't want to leave the Coliseum. Don't you want to get out of slavery? I want out, but I have no desire to die. I stop being a gladiator now, I'll be killed by Zay, which makes sense. Once he leaves the Coliseum, he's signing his own death warrant. Like anybody can go after him and kill him, and no one's gonna bat an eye. But not in my house. He's got some type of protection by stay, sticking around, so I give him that. Uh, even though you be married, the only thing you got in return is surveillance, which is true. Zulu is his like surveillance, so to speak, but also protection in a way by sticking around. It's because I'm a Coliseum fighter. Although I can only fight back since the opponent's skills are so strong in the Coliseum. Yeah, that makes sense. He'll get beat up like outside the Coliseum because outside of that, he can't use the copy skill like that. Like I'm thinking once he copies skills, it's like with him forever, but I guess it just like runs out after a while. Or it's not active once he's done fighting. So he'll have to go against whoever and if they don't have skills and just pull out weapons on him, he's just fucked. I'm just barely being protected by the Coliseum shield. Makes sense. When are you going to leave the Coliseum? As long as Desmos is around, you're, I know. That's why my ultimate goal is, one day, Will, I'll also make you my slave. That is some determination you got there, buddy. I'm, I'm understanding you, I'm understanding you now. I understand you, Mickey Gami. Make Desmos a slave? Dude, that is like the biggest prize that you'll have. And that has to be in game. For like reincarnation concept, that has to be in game. And she's just laughing it off and all that stuff. All right, Gladiator. I neither know your drive nor how you're going to do it, but spouting such a big lie while being about to ball your eyes out. I like that. <laughs> and he's just like squeaking down and like, I was just scared to death, like in his, his inner world and whatnot. And it does show that he was like, <laughs> snot in his, what, what is going on here? This is hilarious. Big Mama is not backing down, but that's going to be a fight. If, when, well, not if, when. He fights Desmo. That's gonna be quite the fight. I will, no matter what happens, not free from your enslavement. Zulu said the same thing. You're not free. You're not. It's not happening. Keep fighting in this hell till you die. Wow, that's one way to uh, have a retirement, don't you think? To concentrate on your next match's plan. You're slaves. You should ensure your bodies don't become weak. You got me sticking right there, and I'm kind of wondering too. Like, what does that mean exactly? Entertain me as best you can, slave. You can go back now. This way, please. Huh. You also. Prepare me an opponent who I can have fun with. My beloved master. He is up to his old tricks and shit, I see. What an elegant speaker. He's way better cut out to be a clown rather than a gladiator. Loses, I'll suck him dry. Pause. Use him up and devour his whole body. Until that day, entertain me and the audience with your frail body and your brazen talk. She really wants Mikigami to lose. But I think she sees Mikigami as like the best play thing for whatever reason. Then again, I mean, if she pegs this man with his small body, I don't think he's gonna survive. He's probably gonna die. Cause that's big mama. Like I've seen what those Amazons look like on Futurama and that death by Snoo Snoo, I mean, pelvics were broken that day. Crushed pelvises. It is what it is. Okay, they're back in the stadium right here. This loud cheering, can you guys even hear my voice? One month since that battle. Finally, the man is coming back. Here he is, the weakest gladiator, Koji Mikigami. And today he came with another person for the first time in his Coliseum. The slave in his possession selected for this tag team match is Mary Lenderot. Okay, first of all, I gotta say, now we're getting into tag team matches? This is gonna be fantastic. I'm already loving this. What kind of clothes are you making her wear, Mikigami? That's your wife, you know. 
That you would to a slave, perverted bastard. They say this, but they're really more perverted than Mikoyami is. That's nuts. No, I wasn't the one who decided on the outfit, though. Mary herself, so Mary chose the outfit. You're all idiots. Who's his wife here? Good grief. Mary doesn't look all that satisfied about it. It's funny because why did he choose Mary over Marl? That's kind of shocking right there. No, I know why he chose that because Mary was like his first, so I do understand the significance behind that. It makes sense. Mikigami, who won four consecutive matches with the weakest skill, former member of Zay's Four Heavenly Kings, Mary. Yesterday's enemies are today's spouses, even in the tag team match. You must conquer and dominate the strong. So who will be the opponent for the strongest tag team gonna be? Excellent chapter. This chapter has brought so much to my attention. Uh, one thing for sure, Desmos is big mama. Scary. Definitely wants Mikigami to be a slave. Gonna use everything in her power to make sure that he loses, but there's cheating on both sides. And I don't think either wants to expose it, even though they both know they're cheating. So that's one thing. The second thing is, is that now we're getting into tag team matches. So we're going to get two slaves now. Like it's going to add up real quick. I'm still wondering when are we going to see the the other like personnel from the, ne the neighboring country. That's who I want to get to. But this chapter is fantastic. Nine out of 10 easily seeing Desmos being like this all powerful individual like not just with their position of management but also backing it up with being this huge menacing figure I, that's crazy but i hope you guys enjoyed the video i tried something new hopefully you like it this way as well i may try it more or i may go back to the old ways if you guys don't like sticking around that long hit that like button drop a comment let me know what you think about the chapter since i've just got done with it i'm gonna talk about it a whole lot more on twitter most likely uh, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications so you never miss an upload, follow on socials for updates and more engagement. And until next time, stay wavy squad and I'm out of here.